The number of robocalls continues to grow and continues to annoy us. Now there are moves on several fronts to silence them. Consumer investigator Steve Sprasia digging deeper tonight in efforts to hang up on robocalls. The phone, once an essential communications device, it has now become the domain of scams, frauds, and harassment. And nobody is immune. I received a phone call from the DEA, and they were threatening. The evidence points to your involvement in various federal crimes. When I first listened to the message and I thought, DEA, then, you know, my heart kind of went pitter-patter. But then after I hung up and thought about it, that's when I realized, uh-uh, DEA doesn't call you. They knock at your door. And the scammers kept calling Charlotte Rucker, leaving messages. What do you say we call this phone number now on my phone? Yes, I received a phone call. I told her to give them a fake name. Brenda Johnson. But all they were interested in was her social security number. That's when I stepped in to question them. This is a consumer investigator, Steve Sprazier, from CBS 17 in Raleigh, North Carolina. You're being recorded right now, and we want to know why... Oh, my goodness, they hung up. They hung up. Son of a gun. <laughs> I guess that's a scam. That is a scam. Oh, my first thing they want to know is my social security number. Last year, Americans dealt with 48 billion robocalls, which has finally spurred Congress to act. Last Friday, the U.S. Senate approved a robocall abuse act, which would impose fines of $10,000 for each fake robocall. And for Joyce Mormon, that might offer some kind of relief. They start about 7.30 in the morning, and they don't stop till about 4 in the afternoon. I have doctors that call me specialists, and I have to answer my phone. Scammers like to disguise themselves using fake or spoofed caller ID names and numbers. Last month, the North Carolina House voted unanimously to approve the Truth in Caller ID Act. That makes it illegal to spoof a phone number here in the state. We're waiting to see what the North Carolina House will now do with that same bill. In the meantime, in Washington, we want to see what the U.S. House is going to be doing with regard to the bill which would find robocallers. And the FCC is waiting to vote on a proposal in early June which would allow cell phone companies to use new technology to block robocalls right at the source. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Spray.